How's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. This is your boy Mars. Today we are going to tune a really nice looking Dodge. This is the Cornet Super B. Uh, this thing here, i um, kind of disappointed about it, but I'm going to show you guys two engines for it. One is going to have 1500 horsepower and the other engine is going to have 1700 horsepower. So like always, everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's get right to it guys. So as you guys see in the background, got the beautiful i mean i like the style look like the body on it like the, the vehicle itself uh looks really really nice um but what they did is they messed it up they messed it up um reason why i'm saying it is because this car with all the specs that it has this car should trap a lot more than what it's doing um and it's not trapping the numbers that it should and i am really upset about that it, it it's one of those things that force a really I uh, don't know I don't know they just uh, I don't know they just keep messing up on it. and the reason why I'm saying it is because stuff like this like you go to uh, the vehicle's weight you look at the vehicle weight it only weighs 2600 pounds so that initially should tell you like oh man this this should be a nice fast light vehicle that should trap in a quarter mile or the half a mile right and then you should then you, you go to the tires to see okay what kind of grip does it get does it get really nice grip you go to the back with tires and look at this this thing has 345s in the rear so 345s in the rear you'll be like man this thing should grip and it doesn't weigh that much this thing should be fast right it should really really be fast but guess what guys it is not it's not fast um, for its potential this thing should be flying it should really 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 honestly be flying especially with uh, like this one here this one has just 1500 horsepower this one should be super fast and and even having the other engine that i'm going to show you with the 1700 horsepower yeah that thing should probably be moving like the rtr you know what i'm saying it should be something like that um just with the specs alone it should be super 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 fast and yet it's not it's really slow it launches slow it moves slow like you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. So let's get right with the 1500 horsepower. Let's go over here to the engines. Let me show you guys all the engines you can put into this thing. So the original engine gives you about 800 horsepower. So that's horrible as well. This is a super, super nice engine that look at the horsepower and torque right now. This engine by itself should give you a thousand horsepower. You know what I'm saying? Just a thousand horsepower would be nice for this engine. Um, then you have the LS engine in it. Uh, of course you guys know it's a thousand horsepower it only traps like i think not even 160 you know what i'm saying in a quarter mile so it, that is super slow uh then you have a diesel engine i'm not going to do that um then you have the viper engine you have a v12 and then you have this engine here which is a um 1500 horsepower engine that was given through us from those like monster trucks or whatever so this engine is another engine. This engine, it, it's a real tricky engine to tune because it wants to have a slow start uh, when it's rear wheel drive. Um, but this is the engine that I'm gonna show you guys next. Um, and then you have the find the last engine. You know, the last engine is this one here. The, 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 the next one that I'm gonna show you is gonna be this one here with 1700 horsepower. And all I can do is make it all wheel drive because it's 1700 horsepower. Um, and it doesn't really even trap that high. It should trap a really, really nice number. Uh, for it being with the you know the weight to power ratio just the weight to power ratio this thing here should fly it should really 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 fly and it doesn't it doesn't fly it doesn't it doesn't move it just stays there like if it has 3,000 pounds of weight and it just stays there like it doesn't even have no tires in the back and no power at all so we're gonna put this engine in here and then we're gonna leave it rear wheel drive um, and then we're gonna go over here we're just gonna put these parts on here we got the rally on the suspension um, and then no weight full weight reduction no roll cage that's what I was trying to say um, and then the rest of the parts are just to reduce some weights and then we're going to these parts put everything on here race as you guys see there we go and then we're gonna go to the tires drag tires make sure to put these drag tires uh, no width in the front and then it's insane to put you can put 345s in the back of this like this should grip like like a monster it should just take off and go 
um, wheels make sure to put any wheels you guys like that are super light got the whole shots on there and the size of the rims leave them alone no need to go bigger in sizes if you want to go put spacers you guys can uh, but no need for that and uh, the all I did was the hood the hood does reduce some weight on the, the hood as you guys see um, so I did put the hood there and I really love this purple color love the car itself though the car itself is a beautiful car but man they messed up so bad like they always do they always do this man they always always do this uh, 1.40 to 60 3.30 to 100 traps 259s 40 in the front 15 in the rear and then we have 220 320 230 180 140 110 and 0.90 zero everything out in 7 65 65 then soft and soft and then raise all the way up to the sky and then we got 1 15 12 and 1 nothing with this or this and 100 and 100 so uh, let's bring it out to the half a mile real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys the other tune and that'll sum up the video man that that you know really just look at this car like the paint job looks amazing I like the style of it how how like long the vehicle is itself um, the headlights with the with the little bumblebee or the, you know the cornet on the front the hornet or whatever um, let's go real quick let's uh, fast travel to the half a mile where you're at um, and do a half a mile pass with it I mean it's 1500 horsepower you can do a half a mile pass uh, it does like 200 miles so it's it's nothing out of this world and it should be it should be something out of this world it should honestly grip this should honestly move um, weight to power ratio guys weight to power weight to power you know what I'm saying you it, it just makes no sense to me to be honest e-brake gas that's all you gotta do is press e-brake and gas 22 pounds of boost torque is 1100 uh, foot pounds of torque you let go of it and there you go it has a very slow start because this car likes to spin first gear and if this car starts spinning it'll it won't stop spinning there you go, 200 miles per hour trap speed there with 1500 horsepower. Um, but yeah, if you get this first gear to start spinning, let me see if I can like. Oh no, it doesn't do it anymore. But if you can get the first, if the first gear starts spinning, it won't stop spinning. Like it's it's so annoying about this engine when it's rear wheel drive that it makes no sense. Um, but yeah, just e-brake and gas launch. Um, sorry, I'm bashing the car. But man, it, this is Forza's fault. It's not the car's fault. You know what I'm saying? It's the guys that that decided on on saying that this car with three old three forty fives in the rear it shouldn't grip. You know what I'm saying? Like, or not shouldn't grip. It shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't trap high speeds or it shouldn't move faster. This car should move way faster. <laughs> like, it's insane, man. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. Here you go, guys. This is the one with uh, seventeen hundred horsepower. Um, let's go over here real quick as you guys see 1750 there with a v8 crazy crazy nice uh, engine in this uh, with 1400 foot pounds of torque um, it is all-wheel drive um, so it does have a real nice acceleration with it with being all-wheel drive um, but yet man it should trap way higher and this car should trap way higher than like 213 214 or whatever it does this thing should be like in the 220s it should be like I don't know man I don't know if some of you guys agree with me or some of you guys don't some of you guys might know you know my frustration as in to you know have getting cars like these that we've been waiting for or been asking for and to make them not move sucks that really does suck um, 345s in the rear no need to go wide on the front all-wheel drive system and uh, we're gonna put some lightweight beaded out wheels all the way leave the size alone leave the size alone and no spacers at all um, and I did put the hood again to reduce that weight uh, so let's go right to the tune really quickly we got 15 15 1.2 2.8 uh, 169 there and then we got here 220 590 3 210 155 120 and 90 Zero everything out in seven, it's one and one. Uh, stiff in the front of 500, soft, then it's raised and dropped. And then we got 13, 13, 2 and 2. 
nothing with this or this and 100 0 100 0 and 80 so that is it let me uh let's take it outside real quick show you guys how to launch it it's going to be another 2k launch with it uh, it moves really nice um but it's not it doesn't trap it doesn't trap what it should trap let's see how the back end squats down It's a stunning car, man. I'm not gonna lie, it just looks super, super nice. E-brake gas, we are at uh, four pounds of boost, eight, <laughs> 851 on the torque. And just let go of the e-brake, and look at that. That first gear comes out so quick. But yeah, you just transition all the gears. Um, it's really, really easy to tune to 1700 horsepower when it's all wheel drive. Um, really really easy to tune with the base tune on it not even doing suspension work it already grips and goes uh, so it's it's nice it's easy um, this one I just got 213 you can get a 214 213 is about it um, but yeah man yeah 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 hope you guys get the car uh, just to like pretty much drive around with it this is a really nice like showcase car to go out cruising with and stuff like that um, but when it comes towards speed that it should be speed it's not there man it's not there weight to power this thing weighs like in the 20 like 2600 horse you know foot pounds of weight or ugh, pounds or whatever uh, 2600 pounds and stuff and 345 tires in the rear this should move this should really clock some real nice numbers in the quarter mile or the half a mile Especially giving it 1700 horsepower engine swap. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, guys? But yeah, man, hope you everybody liked the uh, the tune. Uh, all the people that are new, subscribe. Sorry for bashing the car, but it's not the car's fault, to be honest. It's not. It's the guys with the, with the physics for this game that makes no sense at all. And uh, yeah, hope you uh, see you guys another <laughs> with another drag tune video, man. Peace out. Bye bye now.